Hello, everybody, and welcome to the fourth iteration of the Spatial Data Science Symposium. I think we need to turn off the, the speaker here so that you don't hear an echo. I think now it works. Thank you so much for, for joining us for this fourth time. This time, our main time zone is the East Coast. So for some of you, this will be early in the morning. Some of you um, are just waking up, and for some of you, the day is already coming to an end. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to very briefly walk you through how this is going to work, and then we are diving directly into the, the sessions. So first of all, I would like you to, to meet the team. SDSS is really a community-driven event. That's also what the symposium is to mean. So you are the team. I will talk about this in a minute. We as the organizers, the names that you see here on the screen, we only provide the structure, the online system, send out invitations, help review papers, and so on. But most, or in fact, all of the sessions are driven by the community. So all of us, we do this, as you may know, by solicitating calls for sessions. We received plenty, so there's plenty to see this year. We even had to turn down some of them. But next time when you would like to propose a session, then uh, you know how that works and that we welcome all your contributions. All these sessions are different in style. There may be panels, there may be long form presentations, there may be more discussion oriented panels. There's also an early career symposium, which I hope will be very interesting to you. We have two fantastic keynote speakers and also an on-stage interview. So the symposium is distrib distributed and so is the team. Some of us are, you know, just waking up. For some of us, it's already late at night. So if you encounter hiccups in the online system, then, and you will, I'm sure, then keep in mind that for all of us, this is a long day. For the speakers presenting, these may be long days and nights, so let's all be, be patient with each other. The, the secret star managing most of the action in the background, and there's plenty of action in the background, bringing people to stage, making sure the, the audio and video works, making sure we stay on schedule, helping folks with technical issues, is Kitty Courier. So make sure to give her a, a big thanks whether um, in person or online or by message or in many other ways. So how does the symposium work in a nutshell? Well, since last year coming out of COVID, SDSS is no longer just online, but we are following what we think is actually quite an interesting model, namely a distributed model. So there are this year nine local meeting venues, some of them ranging from, you know, like, Two to two thirty. I don't know. We are we are eighteen or nineteen or something like this here in in Montreal. So you have the the comfort of an online meeting with reduced cost, reduced carbon footprint, and so on and so forth. But you can still socialize and be in your local hub. We think this this is a really nice idea. Worked great last time. This time we have even more local hubs. So if next year you're interested in hosting a local hub, then please let us know and we are going to, to assist you in making this work. We have about 750 people, maybe a little bit more, 756 is the last number I saw, people who signed up. Of course, they're coming from all over the globe, so some may be sleeping, some will only join for one session or two. Typically, for online events like this, turnout is roughly 40 to 60%, so we expect 300 to 450 people from all over the globe. But keep in mind that sometimes you may believe that this is just one account that showed up, but in fact, it's an entire hub. So for instance, when you see the in the people's list, the, the Montreal hub, as I said, we are like nearly, uh, nearly 20 folks or something like this. So why is this important to know? Well, if you want to reach out to somebody individually and you want to chat on the site, which you absolutely should, then please keep in mind to contact them before and ask, hey, am I talking to one person here? or 20 people, it can get a little bit embarrassing otherwise. So um, as I said, you guys made the program. This is a community driven event. We are very excited about this. Please be an active participant, reach out to others in between sessions. During the breaks, you can go to these tables that you probably saw at the beginning and hang out with other folks there. Send messages in the chat to other people, to all of us, ask questions in the Q&A. There's a separate menu for that. Um, well, and be a good citizen, right? And then finally, there's a Slack channel that we started to use since last year. 
there's a link down below. You can just take a screenshot now um, and join Slack and stay in contact that well. You know that we have many other interesting activities throughout the year. So here's one more slide about the hub. We have nine hubs this year. I, there's no way for me to count how many people actually show there. I would say uh, between two and 30, but my guess is as good as, good as yours. As I said, the, the nice feature about this is that for those of us where travel would be cost prohibitive or we want to keep our carbon footprint low, then you can do this from the comfort of your home. You can also hang out at your university company or government agency, but you can also join one of these these hubs and have this distributed nature. This is a new experiment. Last time it worked great. We are very excited about this. And we all have to make sure this becomes a reality, especially for those folks for which travel would simply not be an option visa-wise, cost-wise, health-wise, and so on and so forth. So um, typically in those hubs, we share mics and projectors. So we, I see, for instance, myself speaking right now on the big screen makes me kind of nervous, but it is what it is. So if you want to consider um, a hub next year, reach out to us. If you're hosting a hub, well, thank you so much for, for doing so. We really all appreciate it. So what is on the agenda for the next two days? Well, quite a bit. Here's a brief rundown before we start. Directly after I shut up, we are going to dive into the first paper session. But we have a really exciting program. We have an on-stage interview with two spectacular folks from Direct Relief. Anna Lopez Carr and Andrew Schröder. We have two fabulous keynote speakers, Judith Verstehe and Anna Passari. We have multiple sessions ranging from a disaster management, spatial data science, spatially explicit machine learning, street view imagery, and so on and so forth. And also an early career panel run out of New Zealand. Um, so I think that's really about it. So I'm going to, to hand over now to Anita, and she's going to manage the the paper session. Thanks again for joining us. Anita, the stage is all yours.